consumers but as well as the consumers uh, as part of that ecosystem to make sure that we will be able to strengthen our uh, our defenses no, uh, against uh, fraudsters. I'm April Pan. Join me in the next half hour as we get their insight. Forging a vibrant digital economy was among Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s proposals in the 42nd ASEAN Summit. Marcos also pushed for the strengthening of cross-border connectivity of digital frameworks. Now, the ASEAN also believes the region is ready to expand its payment connectivity. ASEAN leaders even agreed to work on a roadmap on linking their QR code payment systems. For more on this, we now have Philippine Central Bank Deputy Governor Mamerto Tangonan. So, most of the ASEAN leaders are in favor of hastening the expansion of regional payment connectivity. So why do you think it's important to pursue this initiative now? Well, uh, it's important for us to uh, pursue this uh, payments connectivity wherein our the instant payment systems of the ASEAN countries will be interconnected because it benefits uh, um, the whole of society, especially in uh, uh, inclusion in terms of like